Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is George Kushler, owner of GK Photography here in New Orleans, and I'm GK. I have a small challenge for you to do this weekend. Today is Friday, and yesterday when I was hungry for lunch, I was like, you know what, let's kind of kill two birds with one stone here. One, I'm hungry and I love sushi. There's a local uh, grocery store that actually makes their own sushi on site, which is nice. Uh, I love photographing sushi because it's artsy and it's pretty. Um, it's very clean looking. And I'm like, you know what? I need to practice some food photography. So I did. Now, I have a little container that holds all of my food photography accessories that I use, whether it's the fake ice cubes that are acrylic, um, you know, some plates, small plates, and most importantly, my little styling kit, which is my tweezers, my little blowtorch. Uh, tweezers are so important when you're working with food because you don't want to use these things. Your fingers don't seem big until you're messing with something very small. All right, I'm just going to work with this. This is fake ice. This is acrylic ice, and it's a little bit on the expensive side, but it looks so good. So... I wanted to put a little spin on this. So my spin was, let's do long exposure photography for food. Now, to do long exposure, you need total blackness. So the only thing exposing is your light source. So all these lights need to go bye-bye. Then you're asking, why would you do that? Okay, well, one, it's fun. Uh, two, it's a lot more control than you realize. And if you do only have one LED light source, this is how you do it. Okay, so I have my Fuji X-T4 with my Canon 85 1.8. It's uh, aiming at my sushi on my fake ice, shooting right across that table so it's kind of blurred out. And all I'm doing is I'm um, taking my Evolve light, because you can change the heads on this thing. Well, this is the LED head, and I love these little bond doors, and I close them down a lot so it's more directional. So when I come, after I set the camera to one second exposure at the uh, proper settings that exposes for this light, okay, I'm putting this, I'm turning the self timer on, 10 seconds, so it gives me a few seconds to get over here, aim the light where I want it, I take a picture. I go do it again in the light where I want it, take a picture. Now I'm putting all of these in Photoshop. I'm gonna combine them. And the reason why is because I, I, I can change these gels on here fairly easily, but not in the pitch black darkness. And I wanna use different colors. That's my, that's my challenge today, I guess. And if I was only using one light, you can probably hit a couple of areas within the time frame of your shutter, but not today. So the camera's on the tripod. I hit the 10 second self timer after I focus. The lights are completely off. So the only thing exposing is the LED light source I have in my hands. Now, all you have to do is a test or two as far as the power of your light hitting your subject and what f-stop does that need to be. Since we're exposing for natural light, both settings affect your exposure, meaning your f-stop and your shutter will affect your exposure. Now, this is how it looks. I have a video on long exposure. I'll put the link in the description um, down below. But when you practice long exposure, you will be addicted to doing long exposure. One, because you can do it anywhere. Two, you'll start to realize, okay, I like this. This is something I can do. Now, when I photograph my vehicles, when I photograph my restaurants, usually I'm doing a 30 second exposure and I'm running around the scene flashing all my little areas, and in one shot, I'm getting the image that I want with one light source. Sometimes it's a flash, sometimes like today, it's an LED version of my light. You know what I'm saying? So today, for this weekend, my challenge is for you to grab something in your kitchen, something you like, I don't care if it's a wine bottle, 
Maybe it's a bowl of fruit, uh, whatever you want to do. But get your camera, get your tripod, find your one light source. If it's an LED, it could be your, your camera's LED, your iPhone. Just turn the light on. All right. So this is Friday. I would love to see what you do, whether it's over the weekend or first thing next week. Go to our Facebook group page. We can share images and chit chat and talk. I'm here to help. If you have any questions, I adore, love teaching long exposure. When I used to teach seminars around the country years ago, this was my jam. This is what I like to do. It was always at night with a fancy car. We had models and I just love that challenge of working with flash and ambient light and making it work. You know what I mean? All right, you guys have a great weekend. Stay focused on your dreams and I will see you in the next video. GK out.